Hello friends, myself, Professor Guru Prasad Tendulkar, welcoming you to the subject Biology. Now, in this subject, today we are going to begin with a new topic, which is altogether unique. Now, when I say unique, all of you might just ask a question, why sir, why it's, why I'm calling it as unique? The reason is, all other chapters, most of them, we deal with human body. But this particular chapter, which I am going to teach you today, is study of animal types. Now the name itself suggests that it's not a human body that we are going to deal with. Here we are going to deal with a very interesting creature and that interesting creature is nothing but cockroach. Now as soon as I say cockroach, you might have said, Sir, cockroach. Uh. Now, now this is a general feeling about cockroach, isn't it? This is a creature which we fear the most. You can see this. I think all of you must have definitely gone through such an experience. This is a creature which most of us find it to be ugly. So much so that we just hate it from the core of our existence. We are so much dreadful about it that we are just eager to kill it. And for no reason the innocent creature gets killed just because of our fear. Relax guys, first of all, the organism is not that rejectable. First of all, let me tell you, this is the organism which is in existence on this planet Earth since million years. Just imagine much, much, much before than even the advent of human being on Earth. And since then, the animal has continued to survive even nuclear radiations and it is existing even today. So this is the insect which has really captured the attention of most of the scientists and this is I think most widely studied insect so far. So this entire chapter is completely dedicated to this unique and interesting creature and that is nothing but cockroach. In this first module which is just an introduction, let us begin with its occurrence first. Try to recollect, where do we find the presence of cockroach? Just recollect, any, any guesses? In fact, if you think, you will come to the conclusion that, sir, we find it everywhere. There is no one place that it is restricted to. So when I say habitat, it is omnipresent. Now, what do you mean by omnipresent? The word omnipresent means it is present in every habitat. Just to give a few examples, I can say it is found in damp marshy places. It is found in areas where there is a stagnant water, where there is, I can say, a lot of mud accumulated. Isn't it? The second place where we commonly find it is our very own kitchen. Most of us, you might have experienced this. We find it in the crevices in the kitchen. Additionally, we even find it in manhole. In fact, this is the most popular place where this creature is always found. So in short, it is found almost in every habitat and hence the word omnipresent is rightly justified. Then proceeding ahead about its feeding habits. What does cockroach feed on? Now this is again a very particular question without any particular answer because cockroach in general feeds on anything and everything. Believe me, we say that cockroach is omnivorous. Now what do you mean by omnivorous? Just split up the word omnivorous. Omni means all, everything and warrior means to devour, to accept. So the word omnivorous means it accepts everything. Now when I say everything, just to give you a few examples, first of all, it can even feed on the food what we eat. Now here you can see in the adjacent photograph, it's eating bread. It can basically eat any type of human food, whatever we feed upon. Secondly, it can even feed itself upon different types of paper. Let it be newspaper, let it be blotting paper, let it be cardboard, every type of paper can be utilized by this organism as a source of energy. How interesting. Additionally, it can even feed on cloth. And not only that, it can even feed on animal excrements. So in general, I can say it feeds on everything. The only exception what I can say will be, except I would say metal and plastic, it feeds on everything. And yet another uniqueness, what this particular organism show is, it exhibits cannibalism. Now what do you mean by cannibalism? This essentially means that if nothing else is available, cockroach even feeds on another cockroach. The word cannibalism means eating the individual of its own type. So this is yet another uniqueness about this particular animal. 
Then proceeding ahead, we speak about the habit. Now, when I say locomotion, how does it locomote? It is cursorial. What do you mean by cursorial? Cursorial means fast runner, not a slow runner. You can see over here, it's a fast runner. Additionally, it even has a pair of wings. You can see a pair of fore wings and a pair of hind wings. But even if it has a pair of wings, it rarely shows the ability to fly. Rarely it exhibits this particular flying ability. So, this was regarding a short introductory module. There are many more modules to come. In a very next module, I take you to the systematic position of this cockroach. So, till then, thank you very much.